and a very big welcome back to another video. And this video starts off much like the last one ended, with our female blue tit taking out all the nesting material, or at least the guts of it all, but not before some good old pecking. And we have some good suggestions for names already in the comments of the previous video. I'm going to give it this video as a last chance to throw in your suggestions. And then I'm going to create a poll and we will name these lovely pair of blue tits. I already have my favourites out of the suggestions. Uh, but I don't want to influence the vote in any way. So I'm going to keep that to myself until all the voting is done. I might even vote myself. And so, be sure to throw in any suggestions if you have under the comments of this video, and we'll see how the 21st of April, right up to the 25th of April, got on in the meantime. And so on the 21st, as previously stated, she was continuing to keep tabs on the nest building while taking out a little bit each time, and so the nest material on the 21st still looked like she was taking a lot out. So she was still doing nesting shuffles and she would take out a little bit, come back in, do a little bit of nesting shuffles, a bit of pecking around and then take more out. And I was wondering, is those are those nesting shuffles a way of trying to find out if it's ready to get new material brought in? And thankfully in this video I can let it slip that she does the tide does start to turn in the sense of the moss being brought in. But at 20 past 11 on the 21st, it was still, um, the priority was still bringing the moss out. And you will see here with this, a bit of sunlight coming through the, the nest here, she tries to bring some moss out and she kind of fails. I think she gets tripped up on the moss or gets stuck or something like that. But you can see the dust and it, it just looks like an insight to just how dry that moss is. And I have a feeling and only a feeling because I don't think we will ever truly know. I think that is why this moss is being brought out. I think it's dried out and I don't think it's uh, fit for purpose at the moment and she needs to clear it out before bringing in a lot of fresh moss in. And so the question would arise is to why would she bring all this moss in and then take it back out again? Well, we don't know if the environmental factors at play here. The weather could have been looking like the spring was coming very early. And then maybe there was a little bit of rain here and there. The weather changed slightly. We had quite a late start to spring. So maybe they got the urge to build a nest. And then they were like, hold on. Better not build it now because our chicks will not be out while there is a bunch of caterpillars out. So we need to stall and stall they did as the nesting season this year really did start quite late and uh, it worked out for me as we usually when I'm finished exams I'm well through the nesting period and even on the on the 15th of May the day I'm recording this we still don't have eggs hatched on the live stream yet and we can see here on the 21st at 12 we actually saw a little bit of moss being brought in well, it wasn't actually moss, it was a little bit of dried grass, which uh, I have seen birds bring in more in at the start. Then it kind of migrates to more moss, and then obviously they start feathering the nest. But uh, we're a little bit off of that just yet, but it's a sign of things to come. And I will let you in on a little secret. The next video is, I think it's going to cover two days, if I remember correctly. And it is probably the most nest building I've ever seen in two days. So really look forward to that video. And I'm looking forward to putting it together myself. Because it is a whole bunch of footage for two days. And just an unbelievable amount of material and building goes on. So uh, look forward to that. And we can see by 2 o'clock here on the 21st that... There is a very, very little bit of moss left. She brings in a little bit of grass here and there. But you can see at 8 o'clock on the 22nd, first thing in the morning, things seem to be starting to move in the right direction. More material is going to, just from this point on, very slowly being brought in more than being taken out. 
So I believe this is the point here where the tide changes and she starts bringing in more material that's being taken out. And I have to say I was very thankful to see this when I noticed this um, way back during my exams and watching this on my own app uh, live when I started noticing the nest building starting to happen because I was very happy that I would have a nest to tell the story of this year. So uh, for a while it was looking a little dicey, there was material being taken out and even I started to question what was going on. And we also got a visit of this bumblebee. I included this just because, well, I thought it was pretty cool. Quite a big bumblebee when you think of the size of the birds in there. Uh, it's quite a formidable size, that bee. So on the 23rd, nest building thankfully continues in the right direction. She starts bringing in more grassy material. And as I've previously mentioned in this video, and in certainly in previous years, the female blue tits tend to do this at the start. Uh, they bring in some grassy material and it, it tends to like set the bed for the moss, I do believe. Uh, they bring in some coarser material followed by the moss. Not a lot happened on the 24th other than a few visits and keeping tabs on the nest box. Um, and when we jump to the 25th, we see that more moss is getting brought in and thankfully the nest starting to be built. And thankfully this is the beginning of the proper nest building. You will see a significant difference by the end of the 25th in this video. Uh, she actually brings in a nice little bit of moss and the nest is finally starting to look like going in the right direction. So for some reason or another, on the 25th, there was some sort of environmental cues that started to tell these birds, now is the time to get this nest built and to start trying to get some chicks into the world as the bulk of food is going to be ready soon for those chicks. And it's always a big game of chance they're playing they're trying to align their chicks hatching with all the food available at spring and it can go well for them it can go bad for them as i'm sure all of you can remember the previous years and so finally we can start to see some good nest building and i've sped this up just so we can watch it all happen in front of us and as i stated already in the next video we're going to see this even more so i can't get over just how much she builds in two to three days i believe um she pretty much completes the nest in two days which i've never personally seen in our, my own box i've seen it happen on nests and series that i've watched before but it was it was just something to behold really and we can really see now like the nest just coming along all of a sudden it's more moss is being brought in. This is proper nest building compared to what we were seeing. Big, big fulls of moss and loads of nesting shuffles as well. And sadly, that brings us to the end of another video. But as I said, look forward to the next one as it is quite a mon monumental feat that we see this little bird build her nest in two to three days. And... Um, throw some name suggestions in the comments of this video and over the coming days i will have a poll and we'll have a vote and we'll name this beautiful pair of blue tits that have taken residence in our nest box this year so we'll see you in the next one bye bye